Congratulations on the purchase of your Cardio Coach by Core Medical Technologies. In this video, we would like to demonstrate the proper assembly and use of your equipment. Here are some important items to take note of on arrival of your Cardio Coach. The Quick Start Guide will outline the most basic steps to connect your unit and start a test. The cap seals off the unused port during testing. Make note not to accidentally discard it. An extra cap is included. The Cardio Coach has been designed to function with Bluetooth connectivity. Your Quick Start Kit includes a USB cable to connect your Cardio Coach to the computer in the unlikely event that you encounter interference with the Bluetooth signal. Core strongly recommends the use of a Core manufactured MetaBreather Max to ensure the measurement accuracy of a resting metabolic rate test. Core cannot guarantee the ability of this product to accurately measure resting metabolic rates when a breathing device other than a MetaBreather Max is used. Core measurement equipment relies on oxygen sensors that have a lifespan of 18 to 24 months regardless of usage. When that sensor expires, you will need to order a new sensor directly from Core at www.core.com. Oxygen sensors may expire without warning. It can be inconvenient and frustrating to have testing services interrupted when your device unexpectedly displays an error code. For that reason, we recommend you proactively replace your O2 sensor every 18 months to avoid unplanned interruptions in usage. We also invite you to visit our website, core.com. This will be a valuable resource when you have questions about metabolic testing such as what is the effect of pregnancy on an RMR test or how does age affect VO2 max? The site also allows you to quickly and easily purchase replacement supplies. That's enough talk, let's get started. All right, let's get your cardio coach set up and ready for testing. Start by locating your Cardio Coach AC power supply and power cable. Insert the round end of the AC power supply into the power port located on the back of the Cardio Coach. Connect the power cable to the AC power supply and plug it into the wall. Locate the power switch at the back of the unit and turn it on. Next, you will want to load the Cardio Coach software to your laptop. If you purchased a core quick start kit, you will have received a laptop with software pre-loaded. Simply locate the core logo and open it. If you need to download Cardio Coach software on a personal computer, refer to the installation requirements in the user manual. With the software operational, you will want to connect the Bluetooth. Navigate to the Bluetooth and other devices page in the Windows settings menu. Click add Bluetooth or other device. From the options that pop up, select Bluetooth. When the core Cardio Coach appears on the list of devices, select it. The device name will have the name Core followed by the serial number of your device. It is important to verify that the serial number on the screen matches the unit. Use the pin 000 to complete pairing. The connection indicator will continue flashing as before. After a few seconds, the software should recognize and connect the Cardio Coach. When connected, the connection indicator will stay lit. If the connection indicator continues flashing a couple of minutes after the software is fully loaded, make sure the computer is in range of the Cardio Coach. If you plan to email your client results, launch the Windows 10 Mail app. It is recommended that you set up a company address such as yourgymvo2results at gmail.com rather than a personal email for results. If you plan to print results, download your printer drivers to the laptop. Before we start testing, let's become more familiar with your cardio coach by taking a look at a couple of things. On the unit, there are two ports for air intake. The large one is the VO2 test port the smaller one is the RMR test port. 
There are four indicator lights on the front of the unit. There is a light over each of the test ports. These lights will flash if the port is errantly blocked and will light green when in use. This bottom light is the power indicator. The top indicates the status of the Bluetooth connection. The software main screen allows you to navigate to six areas, new test, browse test, accounts, edit protocols, settings, and help. As you set up your cardio coach, you will want to be familiar with two of these areas in particular. First, help. From help, you can access the user manual. Second, settings. Initial setup of your cardio coach allows you to adjust various settings, such as equipment interfaces and labeling locations and trainers. In format results, you can customize the client printouts to include your logo and add default text to the explanation and analysis fields. Once your cardio coach is connected, you are set up and ready to go. Prior to performing exercise testing, it is extremely important that you talk to your client about their current fitness level. Take the time to discuss what speed and incline they are comfortable running or walking, as well as previous injuries that might affect their performance level. Knowing your client's fitness level will help you determine the proper protocol for their test. In order to get accurate results, it is important to make sure your client's VO2 mask is properly fitted before you test. You can use the machine's calibration time to fit and secure your client's face mask. To properly fit a VO2 mask, begin by choosing the proper size. You want a mask that covers the mouth and nose without extending too far. Once you have determined the correct size of mask, attach the Y valve. Have your client hold the mask to their face and blow out as you cover the expiratory port of the valve. If air escapes from around the edges of the mask, it is probably too large and you need to change the size. Any air leakage will affect the accuracy of the test results. Next, attach the headgear. With the proper neoprene head strap, you'll want to make sure the gray side faces out. The large opening should fit over the crown of the head with a smaller opening at the base. Clip the straps to the mask. Clinch the Velcro until snug, but comfortable. Adjust the Velcro straps at the top, sides, and back of the head strap. Check again for air leaks by blocking the expiratory port and having the client blow. If air is escaping, consider either changing the mask or readjusting the Velcro straps for a better fit. Connect the VO2 hose to the valve, cover the hose, and have the client blow as you listen for any air escaping. If the hose has developed any holes over time, you will need to replace it to ensure accurate results. As it ages, you may want to keep an extra hose on hand. To start a new test on the Cardio Coach, select New Test, then New Client. Enter in the client's information. Select VO2. Once all required information is entered, select Start Test, and the machine will begin calibrating. While the unit is calibrating, make sure that nothing is blocking the air intake valve and that the tube is not connected. Make sure that the correct port VO2 is open and that the alternate port is capped. Calibration usually lasts one to two minutes. During calibration, you can fit the client with the heart rate strap and attach the VO2 mask so they can be ready to start the graded exercise test as soon as the calibration cycle is complete. Locate the heart rate chest strap. Attach the heart rate transmitter to the elastic strap. You will hear the sensor snap into place. Wet the grooved electrode areas on the back of the strap with electro-lubricating gel to help produce conductivity. Secure the strap around the client's chest directly over the xiphoid process or right under the pectorals. Adjust the strap length so the fit is snug yet comfortable. 
The wet electrode areas should be firmly against the skin. Click the Find Heart Rate button in the software. Locate your heart rate device and connect. If the heart rate signal is not steady, adjust the placement of the strap. If it continues to be unreliable, the battery of your heart rate strap may have expired. New heart rate straps can be ordered from CORE's website at core.com. After the machine has calibrated, you will see a waiting for first breath message appear. With the client mask on, connect the VO2 hose to the air intake valve. The unit will read, detecting stable heart rate and breathing. Have the client simply stand and breathe while waiting. This will allow them to acclimate to the sensation of breathing through the mask and will eliminate the erroneous data that occurs with hyperventilation. Once the cardio coach has detected steady breathing, the software will prompt, begin testing. Click OK in the software and begin the treadmill or bike simultaneously. Start your client at a lower speed or resistance, increasing their workload gradually throughout the test to slowly see their heart rate and VO2 increasing. If the client begins to feel pain at any time or needs to stop the test for any reason, simply click the red abort button in the bottom right corner and begin the heart rate recovery process. Be sure to communicate regularly with your client to make sure they're doing okay. This test will usually last about 7 to 15 minutes depending on how conditioned your client is. During the course of the test, you will want to follow a protocol that increases workload in regular intervals. The cardio coach records the workload data at each stage. This means that each time you increase incline, speed, or resistance on the bike or treadmill, you will want to record that change in the software and click the Save Stage button. If you run protocols through the software, pop-ups will appear regularly to instruct how and when to adjust the workload. If running through an ergometer or other compatible device, the workload is automatically adjusted on the device and each stage is automatically recorded in the software. Once the client reaches their anaerobic threshold, AT detected appears in a message on the screen. Click OK. To complete a submax test, continue the protocol at least one to two minutes until the client is ready to end the test. To complete a max test, have the client continue until exhaustion. At the completion of the test, a prompt will ask if the test was a max effort. At the point you want to end the test, hit End Test. This will end the test and allow you to begin the recovery process, which lasts about two minutes. Now, the test is complete. You can review the results with your client. These results can be printed or emailed directly to the client. You can also upload the results to the Cardio Coach app so clients can easily incorporate their personal data into their workout routine. Here is a quick overview of the VO2 results printouts. The first page provides an overview of the basic data gathered. Across the top of the printout is a summary of threshold data, including VO2 max and anaerobic threshold. If the client did not reach a maximum effort during the test, note that you will see an extrapolated VO2 max on the report. Below the threshold data, you'll see zones for heart rate-based training. These zones are defined by the threshold data, including anaerobic threshold. Additional options for zone definition are available in the settings. The fitness level is determined by ACSM data, which compares your client's results VO2 max or extrapolated max to a large population of subjects tested. It is important to note the test quality score. The number between 0 and 100 reflects the quality of how the VO2 max graded exercise test was performed. A score of 80 or higher is recommended for reliable results. For scores below 80, you can refer back to the results in the software to see what aspects of testing need to be improved. Add personalized instructions for each client in the What Next section. These instructions can be typed in the client's results on the software. If you would like to simplify this process, you can add default text in the Settings menu as a template.
Page two of the printout shows the test results in the actual graph format. You can add a custom explanation if you like. The third page summarizes the client's data by each stage of the graded exercise test. This allows you to see the change in gas exchange as it relates to the change in workload. The Cardio Coach Max and Cardio Coach Pro give results regarding fats versus carbohydrates burned. This effective fat burn printout shows the breakdown of substrates at each stage and heart rate during the test. The Cardio Coach Pro adds a page with all the test data collected at 15 second intervals. You can specify all the data points you would like included on this page under the settings menu. The Cardio Coach Pro has the option to do extended tests to measure metabolic efficiency. These test results are summarized in a graph identifying the relationship of fats versus carbs. If you own a Cardio Coach Pro, contact customer support to learn about your options for doing a detailed results analysis. If you own the Cardio Coach Plus, Cardio Coach Max, or Cardio Coach Pro unit, you will have the ability to perform a resting metabolic rate test on your machine. To start a new test on the Cardio Coach, select New Test, then New Client. Enter in the client's information, including age, height, weight, and gender. Select RMR. Once all required information is entered, select Start Test and the machine will begin calibrating. Make sure that the RMR port is open and that the alternate port is capped. While the unit is calibrating, make sure that nothing is blocking the air intake valve and that the tube is not connected. Calibration usually lasts one to two minutes. When the calibration is finished, the unit will display waiting for first breath. Expand your Meta Breather Max and place the mouthpiece in the client's mouth. Place the nose clip on their nose. Make sure they keep a seal with their lips around the mouthpiece so all expired air is collected throughout the entire test. Once the Cardio Coach detects stable breathing, it will begin to collect data. Have your client breathe in a relaxed manner. Test results will be most accurate if the client comes prepared by not exercising the day of testing, fasting four hours prior to testing, and avoiding stimulants. When the test is complete, the unit will beep, disconnect the tubing, and throw it away. You can now review the results with your client. These results can be printed or emailed directly to the client. You can also upload the results to the Cardio Coach app. Here is a quick overview of the RMR results printout. The top of the printout shows the resting metabolic rate of your client or the number of calories they burn at rest. The balance scale shows RMR in relationship to energy balance. On the burn side of the scale, you'll see calories burned during their daily activity. If you have results from a VO2 max test, the data can be linked to these results, allowing the cardio coach to calculate precise calories burned during exercise. If the tests are not linked, exercise calories will be an estimate based on a percentage of RMR. The other side of the scale makes caloric recommendations to either maintain or lose weight. The default values place weight loss at RMR with maintenance at RMR plus daily activity. These values can be customized in the software prior to printing or emailing to the client. The What Next section allows you to add personalized instructions to each client. These instructions can be typed in the client's results on the software. If you would like to simplify this process, you can add default text in the settings menu as a template.